Hey guys, today I have come up with another interesting topic occupational therapy activities for stronger core in kids. So let me explain you what is core or what are core muscles. So core is the central part of our body. The muscles of lower back, stomach, pelvic area and hips all together is called as core area or the muscles which are involved in these areas to stabilize those muscles are called as core muscles so why core muscles are important for kids core muscles provide stability it provides it's it's a building block in the developmental milestone of the kids when a newborn grows the strong tummy is very important and that's the reason we say that more tummy time more flow time on tummy is very is important for the newborn in order to achieve further developmental skills for example rolling over then sitting crawling then try to push to stand and finally walking age appropriately if the child has difficulty in core strength or instability in core the child could show difficulties in fine motor skills gross motor skills eye hand coordination skills learning and academic skills visual perceptual skills So what are the different alerts or red flags of weak core? The child leans his head on the hand or on the furniture or desk most of the time while he is reading or writing. Slumping while he is on the chair or during standing activity. Sometimes child uh, escapes from different fine motor skills specifically handwriting. the child shows disinterest in physical activities for example outdoor games or sports child shows some difficulties in bilateral integration bilateral coordination so here bilateral coordination means both side the activities which involve left and right side of our body parts together some sometimes child become a uh, fidgety he is not able to sit and focus on the task which is given to him there uh, you will see low motor skill endurance when i see the kids with autism many times parents complain about constipation or the child is having aversions with some different kind of food and we relate it with some sensory issues or sensory hypersensitivities but it could also be the reason that core strength is not at par i have seen cases in autism with hypotonia low arousal level inefficient core muscles learning and speech is also get affected because of weak core muscles and it's not very surprising how um i'll explain you like learning for learning we need the kid should sit in upright posture so when our core is not in stable position when the core stabilization is not there in the kids most of the time the kid will waste uh, in distractive activities trying to adjust himself to the environment and thus he is not able to focus in attention which is very much required for any kind of learning activities i know that you have a question in mind how is speech is related to core strengthening or core muscles so to develop a functional speech different uh, building blocks are required for example sitting tolerance uh, attention motivation imitation small muscle coordination because of weak core muscles all these can get affected for speech uh, there should be the coordination in uh, uh, breathing then phonation articulation 
so if that breath support sometimes get hindered because of weak core muscles it can lead to poor speech production or difficulty in speech production weak core muscles also contribute to the weakness in various small muscles of oral structure and thus it affects the speech or the developmental milestone of language and communication here i am going to show different basic poses or movements which can be easily done by the kids of all the ages the first basic movement or basic pose is tummy time on the floor the child can lie on the tummy propping on the elbows means putting the weight on his elbows he can be or she can be involved in various creative activities or play activities of his interest superman pose on the floor elbows and legs off the floor sitting on the therapy ball elbow straight and swing himself or herself side to side to and fro lying on the back propped up on the elbows you can help or support the child while he will kick the ball in the same posture there are different kind of animal walks which i can do to strengthen his core while in a play fun manner frog jumps they are very interesting for the kids and they enjoy this activity a lot walk arm out bridge pose you can make the child lie on the ball in supine position means lying on the ball on his back and then child can move up or sit up another activity is child can play catch and throw in lying down position child has to raise his head and shoulder and then he could play catch and throw ball activity i hope these basic occupational therapy activities various poses and movements will really helpful for your child if your child facing any kind of learning problems learning difficulties related to academics or child is facing any cross fine motor coordination problem Thank you so much.